Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Seed Story Cup number three here, powered by Tech TV. With here is Hyped from Team Temple Storm. Hey guys. And we are just about to cast the game between Alesh and Xixo. I'm looking very much forward towards uh, seeing those players play it out. Who do you think is the favorite in that game? I think Zixo is the favorite. He's a little bit more known than Alish. Um, he's in Team Archon. He's had. Uh, he's been doing really well recently. Um, but I don't know. I haven't seen Alish play that much recently, so I don't know what he's going to bring. What he plays. Do you know much about him? Uh, I would also go with Sixo uh, because, well, as you said, he's a more known player, he's a popular player, and, and he definitely had some great success recently, so he's on a hot streak. Alish, on the other way, uh, had been a bit more, well, in the underground, so yeah. he was hiding a bit and was not playing too much competitively r so far, well, in the last couple of months, but, but still, uh, there's, there's a chance for him to win, and that's going to be interesting to see. Also, I should mention, yeah, yesterday, um, when we all just got to the house, Zixo had to play immediately for his, um, it was either NVIDIA or Kinglin, I'm not sure, he, and he 3-0'd uh, Colento, just wow. while everyone was like kind of like watching, standing around. Wow, really? 3-0'd yeah. yeah. Colento. That's yeah. delicious. <laughs> that was really nice. I think it was, um, I know Zixo's been playing a little bit of, uh, what's it called, the uh, five-man, Bane of Doom Warlock, so I think Bane he's been Doom, working yeah. on a Bane of Doom Warlock, so hopefully we can see him play that. Um, I'll be excited about that. Demon Lock overall became very popular in the competitive scene. Yeah, there's not so much the mid-range one, mostly the um, the one with like a few giants, like Molten Giants, maybe not Mountains. Some people do Mountains and Moltens, like Life Coach. And then the Strike version is just like the Dread Infernal Molten. But I know, but Zixo's version with the Bane of Doom, I think it's a little bit more mid-range. It has like eggs. I'm not sure what else low end. Just because, like, you know, you can bane a doom and Axe get a... of Sergeant, I guess. Okay, yeah, you have the... those dark bombs, so... I, I totally agree with you. It's it's a bit more more mid-range. Yeah, so the bane of doom, I think the idea is um, you want all your little stuff on the board, like with your power overwhelmings and your uh, abusive sense. You want to control the board, or just not fall too far behind, so you can bane a doom right on five without too much penalty. Because, you know, five mana for two damage is kind of weak. But you will get the kill if you have this, these little things on board to help the two uh, damage actually kill something. And then if you get a Malganus right there and you have, like, you know, Succubus Void Call on the board, you buff him up, you could win right there. There's actually a lot of great ones. So, like, Jerhaxis, Malganus, Illidan, Dread Infernal, Doomguard, all those are amazing on turn five. I totally agree with you. That's uh, one of the best things to happen when you get one of those big minions. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to s jump right into the game. And we do see X Xixo on the Shaman, and Alish is playing a Druid here. And Xixo, wow! Okay. Wow! Okay. Did you yeah. see that? It's I'm a Fel something. Reaver! It's a Fel Reaver! I'm guessing there's going to be a second Doomhammer as well. He tosses one for now, of course. So I'm guessing, yeah, it tops out probably j just at five, maybe some Fire Elementals. Or maybe boom, probably boom. But that's very interesting, combining that uh, Mech Shaman with Fel Reavers. Uh, Elesh did get the big game hunter though. Yes. Okay. But Zixo tossed it away anyways. Okay, so yeah. So, uh, okay, but so just some interesting for me to see what's in the deck of Sixo. And in the first turns, uh, no real, no wild growth, no innervate here for Alesh. So not a perfect start for the Druid. But his hand with the swipe, that's pretty important. And with the Keeper of the Growth, he has got a decent yeah. matchup here against the Mech Shaman. But there we go, he plays a wild growth. Yeah. Uh, Druid actually, like, you know, Druid's always been amazing, but oh, we're, there's a little bit of issue here. With <laughs> yeah, we have some problems because I had the spectator bug here. But okay. anyway, we will just uh, concentrate on your screen. Okay, we're still watching. Um, yeah, so actually, Druids, Druids have always been amazing, but the times they were weakest was when Undertaker decks were around. Because Undertaker punishes uh, Wild Growth, and to a lesser extent, uh, Mech Warper, if you have it, does too. So he actually got the Mech Warper into the Wild Growth. So it actually is it's really good for uh, Zixo. And uh, there's no like good Keeper target here, so you can't Wild Growth Keeper. Yeah, that's definitely going to be an awkward turn for him. And then uh, Zix... Okay, so he has no way to deal with that Mech Warper unless he wants to... He can silence it? Oh, man. 
What do you think of Coin Coin Lotha? Lotha? Looks wow. like he's not even thinking about no, it. No, that he's doesn't really make yeah. sense. I, I would maybe go for just a silence on the Shredder because you get a minion on the board and you're setting up that swipe. Oh, that is right. Yeah, it, it really encourages the trade, which is just going to get swiped. But wow, as it looks, Alish decides to go, or does he not? First of all, he ropes in some life coach style. Yeah. It actually, the swipe wouldn't be too bad either because... Oh, that's... An, okay, I didn't... Let's see what pop. This is really important. What's coming on? Uh, it's oh, just a, a clone. Three. It's the succubus. Oh, that's unfortunate here. Sixo draws into the Ragnaros and will now go for turn four Fell Reaver. It makes sense. You already have like a two really good, oh, like the four three. You want to kill that. There's the Mech Warp. You want to kill that. Yeah. And then the Fell Reaver too. So just double down on really, hard, uh, really powerful offensive creatures. That's a great board, and there's no real way for Alish here to punish that. He he could go for the coin just to make Sixo lose three cards, but you definitely want to play the big game hunter here. Yeah. You have to get rid of that 8-8, eight eight because otherwise you're just taking too much damage, and you're already down to 22 HP. Yeah. If he had a Wrath, that'd be really nice. He could coin Wrath. Not that the card burn is too irrelevant, but he could burn some cards. Yeah. But here we see the big game hunter being played, and well, that means he will just go for his hero ability, and uh, I would go for the face here because the other targets are not too good for that. Yeah, fortunately, Alesh's big game hunter will actually trade. Uh, Zixo just lost a rock biter; he can't file mental yet. So that's that's one thing that's looking good for him. And Zixo has a great turn five. You can get the spider tank and the mech AT out, and then you don't even need your mech warper anymore. So you can just trade it in and have three minions on the board and as we all know Druid struggles to uh, clear the board and to clear big minions. Yeah, he's going to have a lot of trouble. Okay, thinking about it, maybe just trying to bluff a swipe. Yeah, he attacks into it, but anyway, I expect Sixa to trade that away. There we go, Mech Warper runs into the big game hunter, takes it out, and the Succubus swings to the face for another 4 damage and brings Alash down to 17 HP. Yeah, it gets the huge Mech Warper value with the double drop. Basically an Innervate. It, interesting that he's running Yeti. This uh, Shaman list doesn't normally run Yeti, correct? Actually, I'm a bit surprised. I didn't even know that list with the Fell Reaver. Oh, well, that's true. I, that's, uh... I'm not up to date, and, uh, well, you can play Ragnaros, but... I just knew the the standard list with with double doom hammer and just a usual max. You could play well. Some people like the Yeti more than the pilot of Dreader okay. because I'm they sure value both, yeah. they value the two HP more than the death rattle. Yeah, Alesh even goes for the heal here. He has twice the force of nature in his hand, but right now without a severed draw, that's not helping him too much. Oh man, lava you could burst. almost just file a mental face here. I guess you should with the lava burst following that up if you maybe draw into another damage dealing spell. Oh, but six oh. Plays it safe, yeah. Plays it safe, he goes for the trades. Almost nothing Alesh could do to this board. 5 HP, 5 HP, 3 HP, so even if he could like innervate the combo, it wouldn't even be good. Twisting Nether, unfortunately, that's not a Druid card. Yeah. And he's on 7 mana, so... It's looking really grim here for Alish. And also, I mean, as long as as long as Zixo just clears the board, he's gonna get the guaranteed eight damage off Rag right to the face. Probably yeah. what he wants. So he probably goes for another heal with the Ancient of Lore just to stay in the game a bit longer. Yeah, no other options really. But as we know, that's lethal for Zixo here. Yeah, it's a lot of damage. Another Mech Warper comes in and he goes, just goes for the Lava Burst to the face. Swings in it with his three minions and that's a GG in the first game here for Xixo. Yeah, good job there, Xixo. Um, and when Alesh brings a Shaman, he has to be expecting, he has to be happy getting faced up against a Druid and then losing that much hurt, must hurt. Of course, it was Mech Shaman which changes things a little bit. Okay. 
yeah, so we're just leaving. We are preventing Blizzard to get the spectator bug on us. We don't want to be fooled by that because if you stay in the queue, you sometimes can't see the hand of the opponent. You, you can just see the hand of one player and we want to show you both hands. And that's the reason why we left. So the players are setting up for game number two. I can already see Alish, he's ready. He picked his deck, so Xixo is right now thinking about what does he bring to the table. And it's going to be interesting to see. You can join Alish if you okay. want to. Okay. And there we go. Xixo goes with the mage. And now uh, Alish picks his shaman. And Xixo is in love with those mechs. It's, yeah. it's a mech mage. He really likes to play them. Okay, we do have the spectator. Yeah, okay. spectate Xixo as well. So now you can also see the hands on stream. And there's a difference between the shamans both players played because we already see Alish is playing the Haunted Creeper. That tells us this is not a mech shaman. Yeah. Or it has less mechs. But yeah, it's yeah. most likely not Max. Um, There's a pilot shredder, but that's in every second deck. Yeah. It, some of these shamans uh, don't even run power mace too. Wouldn't even be surprised not to see a power mace here. Yeah, Xixo also has a nice start. The Mac Whopper again. He has the Clockwork Gnome. He has the follow up with the Spider Tank and is really putting on the pressure here again. And Alish has a very bad hand with two Fire Elementals and the Lothab stuck in his hand. There's no way for him to deal with that. Oh, and yeah, he draws into a Lightning here. Storm ASAP or a, a, fire, a Flame Tongue Totem. But without those, it's going to be really hard to live. Uh, yes, that is going to be another tough time here for Alish. So don't get confused, uh, we just uh, switched the players around. So Xixo is now on top and Alish is down here. Xixo goes for a big board, puts a snow chugger and uh, the crazed alchemist, uh, crazed alchemist, the mad scientist on the board. Okay, so what are we looking for out of this shredder? Yeah. Doomsayer wouldn't even be good enough. Hmm. What could you get? Well, that's that's a good question. Like an explosive sheep, and then he top decks a lightning storm. Is what he needs. <laughs> yeah, that would be maybe the best coming out of it. And Xixo also has a fireball lining up in his hand. Oh my god! It is a little scary though. This early, when you have no creatures left against the shaman. Do you think he's gonna be able to close it out with that fireball? Because he's he's kind of lacking. Yeah, I think this is already too much pressure again. Even if we see, maybe from this hand that we see right now, we could expect a Sludge Belcher to come down next mm -hmm. turn. But even that, I guess, it's it's not going to be enough to, to slow down Xixo here. And he's really steamrolling as it looks. Yeah, Alex I mean, he could just play the uh, entity and that's good enough. And Alex did have a, a very... Well, uh, bad choice here. He had the choice between trading or going to the face, and well, he decided to swing to the face. And now we see Xixo even drawing into another minion. It's a Tinker Town Technician, a 4 4 now on the board as well, and this is really looking good here for the Mech, uh, mech Mage. Yeah, Xixo, or let's just keep those spiders alive, maybe hoping to draw into the Flame Tongue, leaving himself that possibility. So what would you do? Would you trade here with uh, with the pilot of Dreader? I guess you just swing to the face, right? But Sixo doesn't. Okay. Sixo plays it safe. Is he maybe afraid of the of the lightning storm? I guess that's why you trade those one ones away. Yeah, you don't care if the scientist dies. But I don't agree to giving, or well, now that I think of yeah, it. Yeah, so you can't throw the shredder yeah. right into the Tinker Town. And it's impossible for Alesh to fully clear the max pretty much. So the uh, the Tinker Town's more valuable. Unfortunately, he doesn't get the explosive sheep. The only thing he gets is a whirling Zappomatic, and there's the second fireball. And yeah, if he just sends a fireball right to the Belcher now, he has lethal next turn. I would keep that. I would use the reversing switch here to bring it down to 3 HP or, well... And now look, it's pretty clean, because he's going to send... Uh, yeah, it's mana efficient. He has 18 health. 
And yeah, you'll see it lines up perfectly. Even clears. Goes for a secret. What did she get? Is it just a second mirror entity? Yeah. Yes, it is. He does not play a counter spell as it looks. And the options for Alash here are limited. Yeah, he has to clear too, which he can't. He could have uh, rolled a Taunt Totem plus Hex. That would be the only way he could live. But as it sends, yeah, that's... Oh, no, no. Okay, he's one off. Yeah. But I think with the reversing switch... Oh, no, no, no. Okay. The reversing switch. Five. No, he does he not have off. enough mana for that. So I guess you just... Uh... Sure. Clear a minions, play your secret, go to the face with everything you got, including uh, your hero ability, and then you're good. That should be enough. Alice could draw into an anti Q bot and roll a taunt totem, but also that would not really help him. Lightning storm coming a bit too late. Yeah, quite a bit. I would still go for it. I would still. Or, or maybe the. I think you just fire elemental. This is more the play to win. Well, but you're oh, going up against the secret, so right, you can't right, fire right. elemental that because then you die. Let's see, you can make the fear. Well, the mana tie totem survives, but here we see Xixo playing the fireball, six damage to the face, and one HP left for Alish. But that is gonna be eradicated here by the fire blast. And that's the 2-0 here for Zixo, who's leading right now in this best of five series, I guess. Yeah. So Zixo was uh, Shaman, Mech Shaman, Mage. Mech Shaman, Mech was Mage. Druid, and uh, Shaman. Shaman, regular Shaman. Okay, yeah. I got a little confused. Okay. You have to leave again. Oh, right. And yeah, we are getting ready for for uh, the next game. And if Xixo wins that game, he already won uh, the whole match here against Alish. And Alish, on the other hand, has to do the reverse kill. And we already see Xixo has a rogue here. And Alish is going up with his mage. He's, he's always playing what Xixo played before. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's, interesting. He's bringing up his own mech mage here. All right, Zixo's got the backstab, one of the most important cards. You can even opt to keep the, the Thalos when you do have the backstab already. He does. Um, he picks up a prep with the Shredder, and you, you really love a 4-drop plus a prep, um, but he's a little bit lacking on value with a backstab and the 2-0 mana spells, basically. Yeah. The Thalos doesn't really do anything, and he's got the 4-drop. Now, normally you want the 4-drop like a Violet Teacher to really get value out of your 0 mana spells, with the Violet, but with the Shredder, you're a little low on value. Second Shredder, though. Oh man, this, that's perfect coin. One out, play the second one. You got the backside and the prep to really smooth that's out your That's going to be a nice turn three and turn four. Yeah. Totally agree to that. Alish, on the other hand, he has the snow chugger, but that might get taken out next turn already with a backstab. Yeah. And the. Yeah, I would play the Thalos. He has a few options, but yeah, I think that Thalos is the best. And the most important card here for, for Xixo, I'm just joking, the coin. He's a rogue with the coin, so yeah. you always love that. And yeah, we're already seeing the Thalnos. The, the fact he had the freedom to keep the Thalnos because he already had that backstab, and now it's really paying off here because, you know, Elish does not want to ping that. And, uh, yeah, if he had the dagger and he had the, like, backstab dagger, would have taken two, it would have been frozen. Thalnos really paying off here. Yeah, and Elish decides to trade into it. He does not want to leave spell power on the board. And now I expect to see coin into Shredder because it's such a nice turn and. Yeah, there I don't think go. he should have traded into the Thalnos because the spell power didn't do anything there. Yeah, but you never know. It would have been a, had he had a, would have had the second backstab. I think he lost two damage, but here's the Shredder already. Yeah, Alish really behind. Is is cooling enough to bring him back? Probably not. He probably has to play Cogmaster. He saw the one backstab. You have to hope your Cogmaster doesn't get backstabbed here, I think. You just play the, the Flame Imp. But we also have the SI7 agent here, so that's another option. If he can maybe trigger that, yeah. I don't see an option for him to do it now, but maybe he draws into... <laughs> into oh, no, he can backstab. if he wants to use the prep, but he's yeah. normally, you don't, normally don't want to turn a prep into a backstab in this matchup. But if he gets um, a fan, it might be okay. But I think he's just going to slam the... Um, yeah, definitely, definitely like that Alesh played that, because he saw a backstab. He needs to get tempo back somehow. Ooh, and there we see Edwin van Cleve. 
So okay, is there, what kind of good shredder draws can change his play here? Like, in what? There's some rare cases where he'd want to trade the shredder in here first before he makes his play. Um, I can't think of any right now though. Me neither. He's probably gonna want to kill the mech to shut down, you know, just the potential blast major, just another Tinker Town, and just turn off the Cogmaster. Yeah, that's a reasonable turn. Just uh, clearing the mech here, then get out your next shredder, maybe to establish a board here. He's also, he has Flurry with prep, so he's probably thinking how best to set up the, the prep Flurry. Actually, I like that Gilbin coming out here, because yeah. of the stealth, it's not an easy trade here for the Tinker Town technician. That wasn't the only thing I was worried about. And yeah. right now you don't want to trade, and, uh, trade into that pilot of shredder. And yeah, Alish once again uh, is, awesome. a bit, is a bit behind, I would say. Yeah, no, no way to turn the Cogmaster back on. No mechs, no nothing. But he does have the Antonidas. He really wants the Finicky, but he has no way to get spare parts. Hmm. He even goes for the Desperation Fireball on the pilot of shredder. And what does come out? It's an pretty Acidic good. Swamp Ooze. Pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Looking good today, that little green monster. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind... Uh, so you can't even get a good trade and rewind because you have no mechs in your hand. Yeah, those spare parts are not really doing it here. Okay. Yeah, I would... I would no good options, actually. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, escape concede? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't think you do that at the Seed Story Cup, but he decides no, to freeze that Acidic Swamp Boost and swings to the face. Yeah, with Antonidas, anything's possible. It surely is. Antonidas is always a game changer. It's a huge card, and it can always bring you an unseen victory. But six oh four now decides to establish an even bigger board here with the low theft. And he wants to shut down Alash here, drawing into that Tinker Town technician, but right now it would just be a vanilla three three. But I guess that's what you do. There's not really a nice trade. You go for Mad Scientist, go for the Tinker Town technician, trade into the two two Gilbun Stalker. Yeah. Uh just, just to the low theft. Or if you Yeah, you're not really under too much pressure, you could just so you wouldn't need to. F yeah. He's if not. You, if you oh, he does. Okay, he feels that he's under. He really wants to clean up. I guess it makes sense because the mad sciences trades with anything, anyways. Yeah. But I think I would have liked to see the trade into the Gilbin, like you're suggesting. And you could still ping the Lotha. But I made a mistake with the Tinker Town because you're always playing around that Blade Flurry. Oh, he true. even goes for preparation zap here. So we are about to see a big Edmund von Cleef. Probably, first of all, he's going for the SI7 agent and. No, he's going for Dagger Mastery and he wants the weapon. He does not run into Flame Strike, maybe, or what is he playing around here? I guess the Flame Strike was just setting up the Blade Flurry, but there we go, 8 8 and Glee. Uh, one of the things, too, you're thinking about if you're the only way the Mech Mage is coming back is with a boom into Antonidas, and you don't. You don't want to sap boom. I mean, you sometimes you have to, but the better play is to set up an Edwin before their boom turns so they can't even play boom because you have this huge Edwin on board. So that's what I like the sap on the scientist and then the Edwin. It worked out perfectly. And he got another spare part, the reversing switch. But Xixa is really putting on the pressure here. With the spell power now, we are going to see a huge blade flurry clearing the whole board and he does not even have to trade into that Tinker Town technician in a way. And brings Alice down to 4 HP already. Uh, to 5 HP, excuse me. And Alice gives up. Yeah. That means a 3 0 victory here for our German player for 6 0. Yeah, backs. If you can get. Like, shredders are sometimes a little bit too slow against Mech Mage because the Mech Mage already has the board and you have to play the shredder and, like, wait a turn and attack. But with the backstab and the, the Thalos, especially, really let uh, 6 0 guarantee getting his creatures on the board with the coin. And it was just perfect. There's no way for Alice to catch back up. If you wanted to catch back up, it would involve like getting really good mad scientists and like Blast Mage isn't even that great yeah. against uh, Rogue, so it's really difficult. But anyway, some nice games here being shown by Xixo and some nice decks also. I was very confused yeah. to see that Fell Reaver, and I really like that. I, I really want to see that again. I want to, to really have a long game. Yeah, I want okay. to see how that game works out. 
And next up, we are just about to see Forzen and Number Guy playing their match. But first of all, we are going to take a short break. So get to the fridge, get yourself something to eat or to drink, make yourself comfy, and we will be right back.